Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today, I'd like to introduce Xingyi Bagua Palm, a hybrid style created by Zhang Zhaodong. Some topics will be discussed in this video, including first, what is who was Zhang Zhaodong? Second, what is Xingyi Bagua Palm and what are its key characteristics? Three, common misconceptions about Xingyi Bagua. 4. A short demonstration. 5. Takeaways from this story. First, Zhang Zhaodong or Zhang Zhankui was one of the best martial artists of uh, the past century. He was born in 1865 and passed away in 1938. He studied some Shaolin styles in his hometown in Hebei province. When he was a teenager, he moved to Tianjin for work. Back then, Tianjin was a part of Hebei province. In Tianjin, he met Li Cuni, one of the top martial artists in China at the time and a very prominent figure in the histories of Xingyi and Bagua. Li Sun-Yi recognized and identified the potentials of this young man and accepted Zhang Zhaodong as his younger sworn brother. From then on, Zhang Zhaodong started his Xing Yi Quan and Ba Gua Zhang practice under Li Sun-Yi's guidance and eventually became a great martial artist himself. In order to help Zhang Zhaodong's practice, Li Cunyi introduced him to his own Xingyi teacher, Liu Qilan, the second generation of Xingyi Quan lineage. Liu Qilan was one of the eight disciples of Li Luoneng, the founder of Xingyi. Also, Li Cunyi took Zhang Zhaodong to Beijing in order to introduce him to Dong Haichuan, who was the first Ba Gua Zhang master in Beijing. However, Dong Hai Chuan was already very old at that time. So he asked his disciple Cheng Tinghua, the founder of Cheng Xiao Ba Gua Zhang, to teach Zhang Zhaodong on his behalf. So officially, Zhang Zhaodong was a disciple of Dong Hai Chuan, but his Ba Gua practice was mainly guided by Cheng Tinghua and Li Sunyi. After years of practice, he mastered Xing Yi and Ba Gua. Especially, his Xing Yi practice was unique. It's powerful, flexible, fast, and practical. People in Tianjin called him Thunderhand Zhang. Together with Li Sun Yi, people named them as the two pillars of Hebei style Xing Yi due to their great level of the skills and the immense contribution to the style. After he became popular, he worked as the Bu Kuai, an old dangerous profession to catch criminals for the Tianjin government. Later, he became the chief bodyguard of the acting president of the early stage of the Republic of China. After he quit his public jobs, he dedicated himself to teaching and propagating martial art in Tianjin. His main style was Xing Yi. People often refer to his Xing Yi as Zhang style Xing Yi, but in my opinion, his Xing Yi is still the Hebei style. During this time, he created his own style of Bagua, which is Xing Yi Bagua Palm. I will briefly introduce this style in the following topics. Besides teaching Kung Fu, he actively got involved in many martial art events. For example, he was invited to be a judge or chief judge in many national martial art competitions, including the National Martial Art Competition in 1929 and 1930. As Zhang's disciple, my grandfather, Yang Qinglin, studied martial art under him. My grandfather told me that Zhang had a unique charisma 
and the character and showed great kindness to his students. My grandfather left a long coat for me. He told me that this long coat was given by Zhang Zhao Dong as a souvenir. It's old style. The, the first time I wear this, I realized that it didn't fit me as well, be, uh, very well because Zhang, Zhang Zhao Dong was a lot taller than me. Second topic. What is Xing Yi Ba Gua Pang? Zhang Zhao Dong, having learned Xing Yi, ba, Xing Yi and Ba Gua from Li Sun Yi and Cheng Tinghua, considered the authority figures in those styles back then, eventually created a Ba Gua style influenced by Xing Yi practice. In most Ba Gua Zhang style, its power is not very obvious, commonly called An Jin or Hidden Force. Because of this, the practice procedure of Ba Gua is that one should practice Rou Jin or Soft Force right away. However, Zhang Zhao Dong's Xing Yi Ba Gua is different. Instead of An Jin, Xing Yi Ba Gua's essence is Ming Jin or Orbit Force. One has to focus on Ming Jin throughout his practice of this style. My grandfather told me that a typical Bagua practice is to hide the Ming Jin in the An Jin or the Orbit Force is in the Hidden Force. But Xing Yi Bagua or Zhang Zhao Dong's Bagua is, is the exact opposite, which is to keep the An Jin in the Ming Jin or the Hidden Force in the Orbit Force. That is the key characteristics of this style. Also, in Xing Yi Ba Gua practice, especially in Hebei style, back then, people emphasized Hang Jin or extended force, or sideway force instead of just the forward force. So, Zhang emphasized his practice in Xing Yi Ba Gua Pan. As a result, not only does this style keep the fluidity of Bagua, but also it pays special attention to the sideway extension force. This is another characteristic of this style. In conclusion, Xing Yi Bagua Palm is a style created by Zhang Zhao Dong in Tianjin, which not only maintains Bagua's flexibility and the fluidity, but also, and more importantly, improves upon its practicality and the power generation. Topic 3. Common misconception about Xing Yi Ba Gua. First of all, I'd like to point out a common misunderstanding in the martial art community. I have seen a photo of Zhang Zhao Dong like this one. Many people in martial art community mistakenly believe that, that it is Zhang Zhao Dong's Xing Yi San Ti stance. That is a mistake. Actually, it is a photo of Zhang Zhao Dong doing Xing Yi Ba Gua Pang. I hope from now on this mistake will be corrected in our community. Second, Xin Yi Bagua Palm, as we have mentioned, that it's a Bagua style with Xin Yi influence. However, not only my grandfather, but also many other masters in Tianjin told me that Zhang Zhao Dong asked his students to maintain a strong and obvious force while practicing Xin Yi Bagua Palm. Unfortunately, those who practice this style in a very soft manner are not following the teachings of Zhang Zhao Dong. This requires our attention. If you cannot preserve Xing Yi Ba Gua's force in practice, then please do not call your style Xing Yi Ba Gua. Let me share a few other photos of Zhang Zhao Dong. This one is 
Zhang Zhaodong working on the hawk posture in Xingyi Bagua Pang. This one is Zhang Zhaodong practicing Xingyi Bagua Pang in his later age. It is a swallow form posture. This one is Zhang Zhaodong practice with his students Qiu Zhihe, the creator of Luo Xuan Xuan or Spiral Fist in English. I will share more photos of him on my Facebook page, so be sure to follow me on Facebook, link is in the description. 4. Demonstration Now, please allow me to make a short demonstration of this style. Feel free to copy this movement and practice it to the best of your ability. The objective of this demonstration is not to teach a form, but to show the structure of Xing Yi Ba Gua Pang. Okay, let me briefly demonstrate one of the small movements of this style. Okay, in the beginning, I will not use any force, just do the slow motion, and you can copy and practice. So we start from the beginning posture. Stay, push, then stay, then extend the downward, then turn, turn, then push, circle, then ah. Now I will practice with a little bit of speed and put a little bit of strength so that you have a better idea. Topic 5. Key takeaways from his story. We have to admit that Zhang Zhaodong was very innovative. He mastered two styles but did not end his practice there. Instead, he kept working on the integration of those two set styles and eventually created his own style by combining the Xing Yi Force and the Bagua movements. As I mentioned in my Xing introduction video, a sequence of movements al alone without a strong underlying principle cannot be considered as a style. A style is primarily defined by its principles, while movement are an expression of principles. If you ask the question, what is Bagua Zhang? There are many possible answers. However, the answer I prefer is that Bagua is a style with Xing Yi like movements, Tai Chi like force, but with its own unique footwork. Do check out my Bagua introduction video for a more detailed explanation of this style. Link is in the description. In Xing Yi Bagua Palm, Zhang Zhao Dong emphasized. Xing Yi force instead of Tai Chi force, but still followed the Bagua stepping principle and the practice. Zhang Zhaodong was not well educated formally back then. However, according to many people, he never stopped learning and asking questions. Therefore, among his more than 2,000 students, there were many highly educated, educated people including some very popular social celebrities in Tianjin. Those people helped him to develop his martial art principles, and eventually he applied those principles in his teaching. This is a perfect example of improving one's own skills in the process of teaching. I hope this video helps you understand Xing Yi Bagua Palm and its history. If you like the video, hit thumbs up, leave a comment and I will respond as soon as I can. Subscribe to my video and hit the bell icon so you will be noticed, notified when, uh, when I post new videos. Also, follow me on Facebook, link is in the description. Thank you for watching, see you next time and happy practicing.